But I think Pastor Chance is one who, you know, he has a monetizer skills academy. And that's one thing that he pushes, right? Especially when dealing with people of faith to say, look, an extra $1,500, you may see that as insignificant. But when you think about the fact of what can that do in many places around the world for many people, you will, you will understand why it's important for you to monetize and actually acquire that extra 1500 right? It's not it's not from a selfish purpose or selfish reason, right? And I think that's like what you're saying. That internal struggle that a lot of times we have, you know, in, in the faith is, is based on an erroneous view of money, right? We make money the root of all evil instead of the love of it, right? The motive, right? That the motive that is calling forth the desire to acquire this thing is what the issue is and not the thing itself. The thing is just a tool, you know? Um, I always say, like, if you have one truck and you're able to do so much, what would you do if you had two trucks? Could you not do more? Could you not affect more? <laughs> could you not impact more? Of course you yeah. could. Well, it's the same thing. Well, if you have a 1,000 versus 2,000, the, the money is no different than the truck. It's literally just a tool, right? And you having a, a more of it, right, gives you just the ability to now serve and impact more people. Um, and I think yeah. one thing that I see, too, is this also affects us a lot of times in terms of even how we reach out to people. We start to have a respect the person's mindset and thought process, even in terms of of the gospel. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because we can look at people who are in poverty. Right. And then start saying, like, oh, well, these are good candidates for the gospel. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and you know what I mean? All right, yeah. They especially need the gospel, for example, right? We, yeah. we, you know, have that type of view and mindset. And then even look at people who are more well off or wealthy, right? And say, well, you know what? They're, they don't need the gospel, right? Or, you know, they're not going to hear, right? Because, you know, because of their status, right? And that really comes from the erroneous view of finances that we have, right? that it even affects our witnessing, you know, and our desire to save all people all over the world, right? In all status and all classes, et cetera. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, it, I don't think it should affect our witnessing. It, and, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it does. And there's a lot of things that affect that. Um, I think, <laughs> I don't think Jesus says it best, you know, um, mm. or he says it's, it's, like a rich man, I'm, I'm going to paraphrase here. A rich man getting into to heaven is like putting a camel through the eye of a needle. That can be torn apart and interpreted a bunch of different ways. And then he goes on to say, you know, but nothing is in, impossible with God. You know, what's impossible with man is possible with God. And, and when we're witnessing, you know, we're also told to give what somebody needs. So like if mm. we are, if we, everybody is not called the same. And you know this, we, we've, we're all given talents. And if we and we're all giving skills and, and we're all given everything. And if we do good with the little we have, if we're faithful with that, then we'll be faithful with more. Right. And, but that's according to us and according to where we're called. We're, we're, we're parts of the body. We're, we're members of the body. And, and you know this Christ is the head. And and when you, you when we look at that and we look at, you know, what God is doing, he's already done the impossible over and over again. I mean, Amen. Jesus showed us. So like when when we get into the financial realm and when we have people who are making money, and who who are, are very well off, it, that's from God, and and we need to respect that. And and some people may need reminded. So it is our job to witness. You know, we're we're definitely not here to please men or women and or ourselves. There's nothing wrong with with enjoying things. You know, God wants His we're children, and He wants us to have peace and joy. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is all about you know peace, joy, love. Yeah. You know, there's, these are good things and, and we're in the world. Food tastes good, you know, like clothes, the sun feels good like that. There's pleasures right. that are good that we can enjoy. And you mm -hmm. know what? If you have money and you can go on a vacation and some people don't like, amen, count your blessings, be thankful. It's a gift. And there's a difference between living and, and being gluttonous and you can be gluttonous mm -hmm. with little too. Right. You don't have to have a lot to be gluttonous. So this, right. this thought that, um, you know, the wealthy man cannot be a follower of Christ or a godly mm -hmm. man. Same right. thing with the woman. I, I think it's ridiculous um, because we need lights and we're lights in this world. Right. And God puts lights all throughout. Yes. God's going to put lights in homeless shelters. He's going to put lights in, in the military. He's going to put lights on the pod, in the podcast. He's going to put lights in million dollar mansions yes. and billion dollar mansions. There's lights yes. everywhere. And wherever those lights are, they're going to shine. You know, so, so I think that's the other part is being bold. And mm. us 
Christians in the world, whether we were making millions or, or scraping by, like mm-hmm. witness, because we, we already have eternal life. Mm. What, what are we doing with it now? You know, are we yeah. telling people, hey, Jesus, you're, you're forgiven. He died for you. You're good. you got eternal life. Like, just just you go help people, you know, just relax. Mm. Like, you're good. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it. Are we doing that? You know, because that's that's really important. And if we're not and we're making a lot of money and if we're thanking God, that's good. We, we need to be doing that. But if we're not right. witnessing and, and talking to other people, we should examine that. I believe. Right. Thanks for watching right. the Line and Lambo podcast. We hope this clip has been a huge blessing to you. And we want to remind you that we drop new videos, new podcast episodes every Sunday at nine o'clock. You can find the full episode by clicking the card up at the top right of this video. If you prefer our audio only experience, then we want to let you know that we're streaming through every major podcast streaming platform. For the full list, you can go to www.lionandalambo.com. Until next time, go impact the world.